Hey guys, it's Wes back here with another video. Uh, bringing you a DIY today. Um, so we are doing the Chips uh, TV show uh, helmet that they wore. Um, that would be a pretty cool idea for this upcoming uh, Fanboy Expo I'm going to. Um, it's up in Orlando and they're going to have the Chips cast there. You know, Estrada and all them. So uh, be pretty cool. Um, like I said, three of them's going to be there, and I think I would get all three on this helmet here. I went ahead and bought this helmet off eBay for about 28, uh, well, I think it was 30, 34 bucks with shipping. I think it was, uh, 28 plus, like, six or seven for shipping, so around 34, 35 dollars, uh, which is the cheapest I could find it. Um, uh, if you would to buy, buy this brand new, uh, you know, painted already, uh, be around $123. Um, I thought that was a bit much and I think I can do it myself. Maybe not as good, but, uh, I think just as cheap, uh, because like I said, this was pretty much 35 bucks. Um, I already had this, but that could be around maybe four and maybe a couple of dollars in, uh, tape. Um, I did buy a patch. I um, can't find for the life of me a decal of this exact one. This is what they wore on their helmets there. Um, this is like a uh, iron-on patch uh, that I found on eBay for like eight bucks. So um, I'm gonna see if it's gonna work. Maybe super glue it or uh, hot glue it. Uh, after it's all said and done, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we shall see and then you're gonna have to need the gold band uh, sorry uh, you're gonna have to need the gold band it goes from that side all the way over here um, this one is fully connected um, and it's pretty rough condition um, as you can see uh, I believe this is from the uh, 80s uh, from what the guy told me uh, pretty much all the white that you see is going to be that gold paint right there. And uh, the only thing that's going to be blue is pretty much uh, from where this ends right here. All the way over here to that end. All the way up here would be blue on that part. And I'm going to leave that black, tape that off later. Um, this might, this probably will be a two day project. Because uh, like I said, I don't have the band for that yet. I'm going to go ahead and look out for that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the gold first. Um, let that dry for probably about a good day because I'm going to have to uh, tape over it uh, to spray this part. So uh, I don't want to put tape on uh, wet paint and uh, you know, you're going to have to redo it. So I think this might be a two-day project. I'm uh, probably going to let that sit for a good day or so and maybe finish it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mask off for the gold part here. And I'll get back with you here. Alrighty, I went ahead and masked it for you guys here. Um, so pretty much all this white that you see here, it's going to be that gold right here. Um... I think it's going to be the closest one of gold that you could find um, because, again, it wasn't like a gold, you know, gold barred gold, you know. It was like a uh, nice metallic pearlescent uh, gold. Um, this was, was the only one. Uh, they had, you know, they had matte gold, which was more like a brown and bronze and then they have, again, they have that mirror, you know, gold bar look. Then they got this. Um, I think this should work. Uh, this one was a little bit more because I think of the, uh, <laughs> the squirt part. Um, right, I was like, I don't know, six bucks, I think, for this, which is all right. But like I said, I think that one was like four. So, and I already had that. The only thing I really had to buy was, you know, the helmet, obviously, the patch, and this, uh, which pretty much, uh, 
pretty much uh, 50 bucks, at least for me. Uh, maybe total of like around 55, 60 bucks, depending if you can get this for under 35 bucks. Um, but yeah, definitely saved around a good 75 bucks if everything comes out right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray paint it. I'm gonna have, do a light coat, like a uh, for 30 minutes. Let it dry for 30 minutes and uh, spray it again, and then spray it one more time. I'll probably do it three times. Um, and then the third time, I think I will let it dry for about a good day. Um, so pretty much, uh, let me go ahead and spray it here real quick. All right, so here it is with the uh, first coat. It's barely on there. Um, you can still see the paint coming through. And it was pretty much like about five feet out. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit out in the sun for about a half hour. Uh, put on the second coat uh, again let that dry for about 30 minutes and then do a third coat and that would pretty much cover everything up um, I think three coats will be good enough and um, we'll probably just go ahead and do the blue for you guys um, so for this next sequence uh, it would pretty much be done so um, hopefully it comes out good for you guys so let's go ahead and take a look Okay, I actually wanted to do a step-by-step, -step. Um, so this is a, exactly 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead, went ahead and masked off all the gold off. I got a couple of uh, printed paper and just jerry-rigged it up because uh, I don't want uh, a lot of tape to touch the uh, paint. And then I went ahead and just kept the other ones on from yesterday. And then just taped off again. So all this black you see here is going to be this color blue. I'm going ahead and hit. Going to go ahead and hit it uh, two times. Once, twice. I'm again, going to let it dry for uh, about 24 hours again, and uh, we'll be back with the finished product. And uh, let's go ahead, baby. All right, guys. So here is the finished product. Um, came out really good. Uh, went ahead and. Uh, glued down the uh, patch here uh, came out pretty good just uh, started in one corner and then one 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 and just hold it down for about uh, 30 seconds uh, I let it dry for a good day so it looks pretty good all the way around not too bad so that came out better than I thought um, here is the paint of course uh, came out pretty good. A couple of uh, oversprays here and there, but nothing, uh, no big deal. Uh, the back definitely looks really good from that angle. Um, here's the other side here. So pretty cool. That's just a scratch mark from whoever had this helmet. But I'm really surprised about this paint job. Um, looks really cool. Um, I really like the gold. Uh, came out better than I thought. Uh, maybe not as shiny, but uh, it's still got a kind of like a gloss look to it if you uh, look at it in the sun. And then, of course, the blue came out really good. A um, little overspray right here, but no big deal. Um, and then I got tape. I didn't know what I could use for that pan that they have, so I just went ahead and... Uh, Got some foil tape for like $2 at Michael's. Um, so pretty cool. It just goes all the way around there. Nothing special on that. Uh, but yeah, guys, it uh, turned out pretty good. Um, like I said, I think the total cost for me at least uh, was around was uh, around uh, 55 bucks. So like I said, I saved a good, uh, good uh, 75 to 70 bucks. Um, so pretty cool um, Yeah, definitely uh, if you guys can find you a helmet, I would definitely recommend doing it. It's a real fun project um, Here is the line for the blue. I still got to touch it up here um, But for my line work for for an amateur it turned out pretty good um, Like I said the blacks gonna be just like that. I don't mind like the scratches here and there I think that looks really cool uh, especially since it's an old helmet
um, but yeah guys it came out really good um, this did turn out to be a three-day project just because I had to uh, find the tape for that band there and then I wanted to let that dry for a good day before messing with it um, but yeah in reality it probably should take you a good two days uh, just for paint in general but uh, yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoy it um, as I'm making this video right now, um, they only, they just, uh, announced that the guy that played, I can't remember his name, um, could have been Robert Pine, um, or something, but he, he, he played the, uh, the chief in that TV show there, and, uh, he ended up canceling, but they do still have Larry Wilcox and Estrada there, uh, those are the two main characters, so, I'll probably have them sign it, probably one on each side or something. I'm um, not sure. Maybe could probably do black or something. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. You guys should check this out. Uh, should be in my autograph hall. I believe Fanboy is where he's going to be at. So look out for that. It's going to be on a Sunday. So, um, But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoy. Again, good project. Pretty fun. And uh, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. You guys take care. Have a good one. Take care. And thanks again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event. Coming down the aisle, Wes, the Autograph Acquirer.